Are you picking your nose? I'm picking my nose. So you're doing this? Well, um, just... I was doing this. You picking your nose? Hey, Wendy. Yes, picking my nose. See, does that look like I'm picking my nose? <laughs> Morning guys, we are on our way to work. This is getting to be a regular thing. We are running late as usual. And Mauricio is bitter about it because he has this like set time in his head that we need to leave for work. And it doesn't really matter when we get to work. We just have to work our time and you know, we don't have a reporting time or leaving time or anything like that, but he just likes to be grumpy. So today we are talking about our debts. I've gotten lots and lots and lots of questions recently about our different debts, what the uh, $250,000 encompassed. And so I'm gonna start every month going over each one of our debts, how much we paid off the previous month, and this month, I'm just gonna set the background, set the stage for the, the following months to let you know where we are as of today. So like a snapshot in time. And then next month, I will show you exactly where our debts went up. So I am gonna detail our debts, smallest to largest. I, we are not paying our debts off smallest to largest. We're paying off our two smallest debts and then we are paying off what was historically our largest debt. And the reason we are doing that is we are trying to get as much money free so we can get the heck out of my parents' house. We have overstayed our welcome, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure they're ready for us to be gone. And we, we would like to be in the best possible financial position to get out of there. We are aiming for next probably the end of next summer. And so barring any unforeseen circumstances, we have had some plans to leave earlier and things came up and so we didn't leave. So hopefully we will. I mean, we basically could do it. We could live on, I mean, go and rent a place. I mean, the thing is that when we be at our plan to pay off our debt, we'll just. It would, it would slow up, slow down the debt payoff. I don't want to use that. So it, it isn't that we can't afford to live on our own. We absolutely could. But we would like to be fiscally responsible. We don't want to have debt until Melina's in her 20s. We want to do the truly responsible thing. So we have done the math as to how much cash we need to have free to be able to rent in the location, in the neighborhood we are in currently to have no issues paying the bills and have money to do you know whatever comes up so we have a number in mind that is pretty solid and we would like to have that amount of money free and again the neighborhood that we're choosing to live in is in a bare is is an expensive neighborhood so it, but the school district that Melina is in currently is, it's one of the highest in the DC area. And we don't want to leave it. The schools are phenomenal. And at this point, a lot of this is about Melina's education. It's true. It, it 100% is. Sure, she could go to, we could live in a slightly less desirable school district and she would get a fine education but for us Molina's education is top priority so we want to stay in this neighborhood the neighborhood that we're in is actually one of the more reasonably priced houses I mean we're not buying a 20 million dollar house I'm just not gonna do it we don't have that kind of cash I mean really I know very few people that do so our first debt is overdraft number one we call it Mauricio's overdraft because we have two checking accounts at the bank and each one of them has an overdraft and this this one is tied to Mauricio's checking account that balance is I'm looking at my, my paper $2,409.47 and that one is getting paid off in full next month so excited the second debt we have is what we're gonna affectionately call Wendy's overdraft and that one's the tied to the checking account where I am the primary and the balance on that is two thousand eight hundred seventy five dollars and eighteen cents and that one will be paid off the month after so December 
The third highest debt we have is our visa. That is $10,947.06. And if you would like to know what all of these debts are, I will link a video up here in the eye in the sky. And that is one of the very first videos I did that explains what our debts are, why we have so much. The fourth highest debt is this vehicle that you see us driving in right now. We currently owe $17,974.91. The next one is a personal loan of $25,525.81. The second to last one is a bank loan this is has historically been our largest loan but over the last month and a half it has not become our largest loan so that is exciting that loan is $48,834.72 and we are finally under $50,000 on that loan it started at 140 is that how much it was when it started? So under 50000 is huge. And we have paid that off in the two years, two, just over two years that we've been here. And then our final loan, which is actually now our largest loan, is $56,888.50. So that leaves us with a grand total of $165,000. $456. So we are just under $100,000 paid off in 18 months. Undebted has us scheduled to be debt free at this rate in December 2019. But things will probably change once we move. So, anyway, I just wanted y'all to know where our debts are. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Okay, cool. so we're done. Turns we can. Hey, get off your phone, lady. And she just, you see, I was so upset and she was just turning her phone like that and she, you know, these people need to make it work, but no, she, they need, they probably running late. And then no, she was playing her phone and then she went through the light and it was red by the- Mauricio has a little bit of road rage. A hundred yards away. You're gonna be fun to work around today. We have a song. Don't. I may have to sing it. I'm not in the mood. I'm gonna sing it. <laughs> Grumpy pants. Grumpy pants. Grumpy pants. I have all my grumpy pants. See back there. See that? That is Melina's Dolly car seat, which is currently holding my lunch, but. Um, yeah, that might have been the biggest mistake that we got her for her birthday because now her deli has to go everywhere in the car and it takes 15 minutes for her to buckle her in and out. Oh my goodness, don't do it. Just don't do it. I thought it was a great little present. You know, 20 bucks, she'd love it. And she does, she adores it. But now it's just in the way and slowing us down. Make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I'll put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This is my latest one. And this one is, Your one, husband? is my husband. <laughs> it is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.